one of the best introductory text editors for Linux is Nano. Now Nano may not be as you know as fancy or as cool as Vim, but it's good enough to get the job done, which is what really matters. So one of the things that I really like setting on Nano on every PC that I've ever used Linux on is line numbering because if you ever you know you're editing something uh, you want to have uh, the line number so that if you're let's say coding a file and uh, there's an error on line 77 like you want to know where it's at it might be really easy you don't need to open a real full-blown text editor or uh, IDE so you could just do it through nano and I think it's efficient right so there are two options you can create a local configuration for your user or you can do it like this which is my preferred method which is setting it globally so that it doesn't matter if you're running something as root or as you know a local user it'll uh, it'll follow this configuration which is how I like to do it right so uh, there's this uh, parameter somewhere down here called set line numbers so we just uncomment that it's already there in the default configuration um, oh, permission denied. I forgot to do this as root. So, all right. Okay. Uh, so let's find that line again. So set line numbers. You uncomment that. Yes. Now uh, let's just open that again. We'll see. And then we have our line numbers. So I really like having this, and yeah, Nano isn't as cool as Vim or you know a real IDE, but I think for quick edits like this, it's more than than good enough, you know. Um, and even sometimes when I'm coding something simple, I'll just use this. Now, if I'm doing something really extensive, of course, you know, I'll use I'll personally just use an IDE like Gini, you know. But uh, for quick stuff like that, I think Nano is perfect. So that's about it. Please like and sub if you find this content useful.